Afternoon, everyone. How are you? Okay. Seen better days, but <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, normal, normal broadcast section first, and then into the dailies. Jane. Um, you've won the FA Cup twice with Chelsea. So, as someone who has walked up those steps to Wembley, can you explain just how much the competition means to you and to the club, of course? Me personally, I always. Uh, rated this competition uh, as one of the best uh, because what I liked about this competition is that uh, it's open to everybody, you know, like football should be. Uh, people that are amateurs, that they, they play in the Sunday leagues, they can play. I mean, it's, it's an open competition and, uh, and uh, you know, it, it feeds, feeds the, dream, the dreams of many people. So that's what I always appreciate about it. And, uh, and uh, the crowd uh, loves it, uh, everybody loves it, so I've always had a good feeling with this and, uh, and uh, I still keep it now after many years. And of course Nottingham Forest has put a decent record in the FA Cup, they put Arsenal out last year. They're not to be underestimated, are they? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, they, they've already done it in, in the past and uh, Although we have a good record against against them, it's a, it's a team that we need to we need to respect. They have some good players in the team, and uh, you know, type of players that can cause problems. So we will have to play a good game. Coming off the back of a, a nil nil draw with Southampton, fourth in the league, ten points off the leaders. Is the FA Cup necessarily your first priority? Um, for this club. Uh, especially also for us, uh, you know, the competitions are, are important. We are trying to establish ourselves in this in this championship and uh, so we want to do well also in the FA Cup. Uh, we respect this competition very much, so we're going to try to do to do well. Um, it's, you know, it's a pity that uh, this game comes in a period where we have played so many games and uh, of course the, the, the you know, the, the, you have to also make uh, counts and try to save some players because obviously some of them they played quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of games recently. So you have to be very, very careful. And of course, you've suffered significant injuries as well. Um, does that mean that there'll be a, a chance, perhaps, for younger players? Yeah, there'll be there'll be rotations. There will be players. Uh, we have some injuries uh, that uh, they're not going to be available, like uh, Williams, uh, like uh, Giroud, like. Uh, uh, like Pedro, so uh, obviously th this will leave uh, space for for some of the young players. Um, but also, you know, you have to consider that, as I said, that there are players that they play already six games or five games in a row in a very short sp space of time, and uh, so it will be necessary to do to do a little bit of rotation. Will Callum Hudson-Odoi be in contention? Obviously, he's come back to training. Yeah, he's back. Uh, he's back uh, on full training. Yesterday he trained with the whole team, and he's gonna train today again. And uh, yes, he's certainly available, and uh, I can say my very much likely that he's gonna play. How important is it that Chelsea keep hold of a player like Callum, especially considering there have been reports uh, of bits that Bayern have been thirty million for? Well, I know Bayern is very interested in him, but we are interested in him as well. I think we propose, we've been proposing him a contract for quite a while, and uh, so we are waiting for uh, a good, uh, you know, to see what the player think about that. But uh, um, we certainly value him as a player. Uh, I know he hasn't played uh, probably as much as he wanted, but uh, obviously this is obvi obviously down to the quality of the players that he's got in front of him. But uh, this is not, uh, I've, al I've already told the player, that it's not a waste of time. It's, it's the time in which uh, you, know, you can really get better because you are pushed to do more. Um, and I hope that uh, Callum is using this time in a, in a wise way because uh, uh, he will do a very good thing to his football. And, uh, and hopefully, as I said, uh, we, we, he will come to sign the contract for us. 
have you spoken to him personally? Do you, do you get the feeling that he does want to stay? I was spe- we spoke um, uh, uh, mainly with him. We, sp- we speak about uh, tac- tactical or technical questions. Uh, I haven't been very direct. Actually, this is the first time I've been direct with him about the contract. So, um, but uh, again, yes, it's uh, it's a player. I understand that he has uh, requests. Uh, he's done very well, but. At the same time, we are we are very interested and very we believe that he he, uh, he can have a bright future even here. Sorry, Jane, we're going to go to John. How good do you think he could be? I know the manager spoke in glowing terms about him. Um, it's uh, for a, an 18 years old. He has got a, a lot of potentials, um, but you have to understand that the the. The journey is not finished. Uh, is in, a, in an age, in my opinion, it's very important to keep a good attitude. You need to use these years to keep improving. It's not important playing straight away. It's not important to play 30 games or 20. It's important to develop. That is uh, what I believe is very important for him. Again, as I said, he has potentials to become a top player, but he has to keep having an open mind to improve and to to get better day by day. Presumably at his age, you'd urge him to, to stay here and continue that, that development? I believe that we, uh, we can help him, uh, we, can, uh, we can develop him. Uh, as I said before, I believe he, he has a future in this club. So, again, as I said, then our job finishes here. On Alvaro Morata, obviously you watch him every day in, in training. Why do you think he's... He is struggling at the moment. Is there a confidence thing? What, what is the problem? Ah, mainly it's confidence. You know, uh, I've been a striker myself, and when you get into these loops where you are looking for the goal all the time and it doesn't come, and you lose confidence, and then the less confidence you get, the less you're gonna score. It's it's one of those things that happen uh, frequent, frequently with all the players and. Uh, I think Alvaro has to understand that for us it's, it's important, uh, yes, when he scores, but it's important also when he comes and plays and he does all the things that are important for the club. The, the goal has to be a, only a consequence of, uh, of what you do for the team. Because uh, the way we play always helps the, the, the front players to score. Uh, but again, you have to... Keep working for the uh, for, for for the team to, to participate to the process. The goal will be will come. It's just behind the corner. Is it an issue though? Do you think at the moment the lack of goals that are coming from uh, centre forward or a striker? Yeah, it's t- t- to be fair. It, it, it's fair to say that uh, we have a, uh, another task in front of us. Nowadays, the teams they come to the St- Stamford Bridge and 90% of the time they sit back in the last 40 meters. Bear in mind that. Uh, with that task, it's not easy for anybody. Um, I can tell you about the past. Barcelona had problems when they they played against him defending the last 20 meters or 30 meters. Uh, Bayern Munich uh, or oh, City, Liverpool. Everybody suffers when you know there are no spaces up up there because the opposition they only defend. And this is something that we need to get used. Uh, we are at the moment probably this is the the big issue that we have for the amount of time that we have the ball we don't create uh, enough goal opportunities for for that amount of time. Well, we we know very well but we also know that is, this is part of the process we are we said that time ago that we are not a perfect team yet how do you solve that well, we're gonna we're gonna sort it I'm sure the players, as I said, they're going to get used because we have players, intelligent players up front. We have quality players up front. They just need to uh, adjust to the task. To be honest, the other day against Southampton wasn't easy because, as I said, one of the keys to break down defences like uh, the Southampton the other day is to, uh, to be fresh, to be... Uh, in Italy, we say brillante, brilliant. Uh, you have to be sharp. But when you have uh, five games in your leg and you play the sixth, uh, it's not easy there for anybody. So everyone is struggling at the moment. So it will come. I, I have no doubt it will come. Uh, we certainly will have to do pay more attention to this because, uh, as I said, this is the task 
for 80% of the games. Uh, but when once we get there, I think uh, this cl this team is is growing up so much in other things. I can see already, and it will be it will be very good. Sorry, John. We're going to go one from Matt, and then will he be rested at the weekend? Does he need Does he need a bit of a yeah. break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, Eden has been fantastic in this period, and uh, he's played a lot of games. We are very demanding on him because uh, he's such a such an influential player for us. So uh, I believe that uh, tomorrow he might get uh, a, li a little bit of rest. But uh, we are in a situation where we <laughs> we don't have many players, so. We will see that the, the idea, I believe, is to, to give him some rest. Matt. Uh, how long is William likely to be out for us? Uh, you know, I came this morning and, uh, and, I, and uh, the doctor didn't tell us, but I, I don't think he's, uh, he's uh, as bad. Um, you know, when you, when you see somebody having a problem with the muscle, you get scared straight away because normally it's a, it's, it's a long time. But in this case, I don't think it's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been as bad. No, you know if you could break up on Tuesday? Or? I, I don't know, really. Uh, I, I think there are very good chance to have uh, Pedro and Giroud back uh, next week for Tottenham, but uh, for William, still, uh, I don't know. Okay, says so, so Fabregas <coughs> to wave to all sides of Stamford Bridge on Wednesday, and he suggested he would be playing tomorrow, but there's been a lot of talk about his future. Can you shed any light on Fabregas' future? No, so, so it looks like... Um, but uh, well, I'm sure that uh, Sesk is a is a wonderful professionist, professional. Sorry, um, he always been since I've been here. He actually is one of the surprises for me. Um, how good, how professional he, he, he has been. So I don't know. To be honest, uh, you are asking me a question that uh, I wish I could answer. Um, uh, I know that that uh, his contract runs out in six months and. Uh, and uh, I don't know how, how it's going to go. Uh, but uh, despite that, I know that if he plays tomorrow, I think he'll be, he, as usual, you know, deliver a good performance. And we're going to finish with Liam. Sorry, Matt, we're out of time. Gianfranco, a lot of Chelsea fans really want to see an academy player you know, become important for the first team. And uh, <coughs> we've been very excited about Hudson Adoy for a long time. So yes. Can you understand? some of the frustration that, that these reports are now coming out of rival bids for him? Oh, um, I understand that. Uh, we're also very happy to give, uh, to give uh, you know, uh, be very happy to see a, a young player come, come in through and play for the team. But you have to realise one thing, that uh, to come through in a team like Chelsea is not easy for anybody. Uh, unless you are already a, an exceptional player, and by saying that, I'm not saying that uh, um, that uh, Callum is not a, a, a fantastic player, but he's, he's still in a, pro, in, a, in, a, in a period in which he's showing a, a lot of potential, but he has to become a footballer. And he has in front of him players that, uh, that uh, they, they are mature, that, you know, we are talking about top players. Uh, so I think it's about patience. Um, I believe that he, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, has a bright future with us, but he will have to learn, uh, you know, that sometimes, as I said, it, in, in right now for him it's important to get better, better every day. doesn't have to be focused on why I didn't play, or I should be playing 20 games. It doesn't matter that. It's important what should I do to be better than uh, than. Uh, then William, then Pedro, then Hazard. This is what, uh, and focus him every day working on that. If he does that, he will, with the qualities that he's got, uh, I have no doubt he's going to be a fantastic player. Just one final question. Um, Ethan Ampadu is another young player yes. to wait for his chance this season. Do you think we'll maybe see more of him in the next few weeks? Starting yeah, I mean, Ampadu is, uh, you know, is uh, I think when we spoke about Ampadu, we were we had a lot of stuff, and uh, there was no one that uh, had anything to say about him. Everybody shares the same opinion. He's going to become an important player for this club. He has uh, he has intelligence. He has attitude. He has uh, he has all the, in my opinion, the qualities to become a top player. And uh, and I believe that. As a staff, we, 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 
we value him a lot and we when is, there is an opportunity will be he will get time time playing thanks we'll finish that section there cameras off for the